My son loves chocolate. I can't blame him. He's Swiss too. Next to being American, he's Swiss, so he has it in his blood. You, you know that actually the Swiss not only make the best chocolate, yes, I have to say it to all my friends here in America. Listen, forget the Belgium chocolate. It's okay. It's not bad. But as a Swiss, I, I have to underline and make a statement that Swiss chocolate is the best in the world, hands down. Why do I know this? Well, one of the facts is that the Swiss actually consume most of the chocolate that they produce themselves. Yes, we do. That's how good it is. We know what's good. We export it. We share it with the rest of the world because we're kind people. But we eat the most, most of it ourselves. As a side note, what the Swiss actually do, and people don't know, they um, produce wine. Good wine. We have great wine. But you can't buy it other, other than in Switzerland. We don't export it. We just keep it to ourselves. That's all I'm going to say about that. So um, if you want Swiss wine, whether you have a friend from Switzerland, or you go there, you bring one back and open it up, um, or you go there. And if you're kind to us in Switzerland, we might open a, a bottle for you and have a glass or two, because that's who we are. But um, that's with the wine. Chocolate, you can have as much as you like. You can buy it here too. Not so much with the wine. So that's a, a side note to what I wanted to say because my son loves chocolate. Uh, we found out he's lactose, lactose intolerant, so he can't have milk. And, you know, milk chocolate from Switzerland, <laughs> it's nothing like it. So this boy, um, the other day, um, you know, I got ice cream sandwiches. He can't have that, so I could get him ice pops. But it was not, not, not enough for him. So he asked me, Dad, can you bring some of that chocolate with the, with the hazelnuts in it? And uh, a lot of the Swiss, well, not a lot, some of the Swiss chocolate, they come with hazelnut. And actually where I work, you can buy it. You can buy it made in Switzerland, produced in Switzerland, Swiss, authentic Swiss chocolate. And some come dark with hazelnuts and some come um, as a milk chocolate with hazelnuts. So I got the dark ones because it doesn't have milk in it. <laughs> so I gave it to him as a treat, you know, after dinner. He's like, well, I, I want an ice cream sandwich. You can't have it. But, you know, I got some chocolate for you. Okay. He was bummed out. So he started to eat the chocolate. And I felt like he's fine. And I halfway through, he was halfway through the chocolate bar. Okay? There, the chocolate bar is like, you know, it's a bar. Think of Willy Wonka bar. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a good piece. You can eat it yourself if you have to, but if you overindulge. Or you can share it. And so I, I would share another thing about sharing the chocolate. So my son was halfway through the chocolate. And I said, hey, Lee, how's the chocolate? It's okay. Are you kidding me? It's okay? I mean, you, you eat half the chocolate and it's just okay? Eh, it's okay. And he actually gave some to me, which was kind. But um, something else about um, my son and the chocolate is that we used to have a lot of people come and visit us from Switzerland. You know, like a, a flow of people visiting us. We had a lot of guests over the, the years that we've been here in America. And every time somebody from Switzerland comes, I have a list to give to them of things that I can't get here that I asked them to bring from uh, Switzerland. And chocolate is pretty much on top of the list. And they're very kind and generous and uh, as a gift, like basically as a gift, uh, I, I always offer to pay for it, but I never have to. And that's good. <laughs> Not that I wouldn't pay for it, but I feel like you can stay here. You know, you, you're a guest, so... Might as well bring something. <laughs> that, that's that's your payment. Just bring me some chocolate and some other goodies that I won't mention here, what I want from Switzerland. Um, and so uh, normally we always had a, a, a huge stash. Well, not a huge, like it's always enough because there was a constant flow. So whatever we consumed, it was replaced. Not a big deal. And then uh, all that stuff happened the last two years, right? And uh, nobody's coming. Or just uh, some, some that can still come or want to come. And so uh, my stash has been empty. Our stash has been empty. And so when, when I went back the other the last time, I brought some back, obviously. And uh, I don't mind opening up. I don't mind, uh, you know, my kids having some. They, they have to ask because I want to teach them. It's like, look, it's, it, if you just go after the stash, um, you might enjoy this, obviously. But the rest of us don't have any. You, you deprive us from something good as well if you just take it for yourself. You understand what I'm saying? And so, my son, same guy. 
I went to his room uh, weeks ago, and uh, in the corner somewhere, I saw all these wrappers from the Swiss chocolate that I brought home. About five of them. I'm not kidding you. And I wouldn't be surprised if he if he ate them all at the same the same day. No 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 wonder he has a tummy ache. No wonder he have an issue with with milk in it because it's too much. They have a sugar rush on top of this, a sugar high. And uh, you know he's he's smart to hide it, but not not that smart to hide it enough. I mean to actually throw it out somewhere else, you know, like in the in the dumpster in the trash. And so I'm like, dude, what's all this? And of course he confessed. Well, first, you know, normally they don't confess. <laughs> I was like, it wasn't me. What do you mean it wasn't me? It was in your room. The rappers were out there in your room. I, I found them. <laughs> no, it wasn't me. <laughs> Till they finally come clean. Um, it's not that I'm mad at him, you know, like really not. It's just, it's quite amusing. The only thing I want to teach is like, listen, please ask for chocolate. And here's the reason why, because if you just eat it yourself, and especially since we have a, a you know, low stash right now, the rest of us won't have it, and then we're deprived from it. So that's the lesson to learn. So anyway, so if you want chocolate, get good chocolate. And the best there is is Swiss chocolate, I'm telling you. So you can buy it here in the States, or you can go and visit beautiful Switzerland and bring some home, or eat it all there. <laughs> Pack it in. Uh, it's very good. So I understand my son. He has good taste. So that's all I have for you. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. That's my perspective. Talk to you soon.